these are a couple of old rotors that I saved for the sole purpose of getting some practice at some point I need to machine the brakes on my uh, vintage car and uh, I prefer not to screw that up these are also a good opportunity to test the uh, big chuck I recently mounted to my hundred year old lathe and as you can see I've already uh, cleaned up this side so it will sit flush in the, the chuck Let's try and uh, do a brake job. This seems to be the best I can do when it comes to side to side wobble. The uh, measurements are rather random, they can be totally different on other parts of the surface. But I'm hoping this will be good enough. If not, uh, that's uh, too bad, but it's only a practice piece. So no harm done. I bought a new tool bit and it uses round inserts and I'm hoping it will be uh, perfect for this job. The uh, roundness should help with the uh, surface finish and if it does get dull I can just rotate it uh, 30 degrees and that should give me uh, 12 uh, cutting edges. I am a bit surprised that uh, these inserts are completely uh, flat on top so no uh, positive rake um, and uh, this being carbide I should be able to run the lathe much faster so hopefully it won't uh, stall with uh, such a big uh, diameter uh, this by the way is uh, 25 and a half centimeters wide I am going to set up the uh, tool bit on this side of the uh, tool post because with such a big uh, diameter the cross light isn't long enough to uh, use the uh, tool bit in the uh, regular position alright I'm ready to go um, I am a bit worried that the lathe might not have enough power uh, to turn down this big diameter but uh, we'll see I'm setting the lathe to uh, 200 rpm that might be a bit much even for a carbide but uh, we'll see Let's turn some rust. Well so far no power problems, I'm going to reposition the uh, camera because it's uh, too much in my way. Alright, let's see if I can uh, make this work. Sometimes I do wish I had a uh, smaller camera. Starting the uh, dust collection system. And firing up the lift. The uh, cut got a lot lighter over here, so either the uh, disc is unevenly worn or uh, the uh, cross light is at a slight angle. I'm not uh, completely sure about the insert, so I will just uh, rotate it a little as a precaution. Come on, rotate. Okay, that's probably a bit more than 30 degrees, but I got uh, plenty of inserts, so I don't care. Shatter! 
That's no good. I guess I need to take uh, even lighter cuts. I took another pass at uh, 150 RPM and that helped a bit with the chatter but it never went uh, completely away. The surface finish is reasonable although I was uh, maybe uh, turning the cross light a bit too fast. I think I can do better. I'm not sure but this uh, rust seems to be doing a real number on the uh, insert so I probably have to rotate it uh, again at some point. Alright I will uh, take another pass and uh, then I will uh, show you more. I almost managed to stall the lathe. That was uh, a bit more than 100 RPM. I think the uh, chatter might also come from uh, the uh, motor bearings. The bearing seat in the end cap of the motor was a bit uh, loose so I uh, center punched the uh, surface all over in an uh, attempt to fill up the uh, uh, room between the bearing and the uh, bearing seat. But I think the uh, bearings are working themselves uh, loose again. Um, I never thought that would be a permanent uh, solution. So those uh, motor end caps uh, probably need to be uh, uh, machined at some point. But uh, that's a big job uh, for me. It's probably easier to just uh, swap the motor. Most of the uh, rust on the outside is gone. So I just uh, rotated the insert a bit and I'm ready to take another cut. This almost seems to be uh, hardened. Maybe uh, the outside of the disc overheated and uh, that hardened the uh, metal up. Or perhaps it was uh, work hardened. Is, uh, is that a thing with uh, cast iron? I took uh, two more passes and this is uh, how it looks uh, now. It's not too bad and the surface finish is uh, very reasonable. In the first uh, pass running from the inside to the outside uh, I ran the lathe at 250 RPM and about halfway into uh, the cut the insert uh, started rubbing instead of cutting. So I think I uh, ran the lathe too fast although running the lathe a bit faster at uh, 250 RPM does seem to help with the uh, vibrations coming from the motor. For the uh, return pass I uh, rotated the insert a bit and took a very light cut and uh, that worked out reasonably well. I think I'll uh, take a few more cuts see if I can uh, improve the uh, surface finish a little bit more. I accidentally uh, dealt in too big of a cut and then the uh, chatter uh, issue becomes a real problem. The whole bench is rumbling. I'm running 170. Obviously uh, the surface finish is pretty much uh, shite. It's uh, very wavy. I think the insert is losing its edge. Because there it is, another stall. Okay, this is only at uh, 120 RPM. That intermittent uh, chatter problem is driving me crazy. Here you can see no chatter and it feels fine. And here there's chatter. And the surface finish is uh, pretty much shite. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to switch out the uh, motor. Uh, hopefully that will help. For now I'm going to stop because uh, the battery is almost empty. And I don't have a spare one yet. I removed the motor from the bench and without the lathe it seems to be running just fine.
I was expecting some vibration but uh, nothing. It's actually running better than when I uh, just installed the new bearings. It's uh, now running at 20 Hz and that's about uh, two-fifths of the uh, normal 50 Hz. And check how easy I can uh, stall the motor. No problem. That's a bit surprising. That uh, six pole motor, uh, I couldn't even hold at uh, two or three hertz. Of course, uh, a six pole motor has more torque and uh, the uh, frequency drive had uh, factor control. So I think I will be looking for a uh, six pole motor for this lathe. It definitely can uh, use a little bit more power at low speeds. Well, I'm still going to install the motor in the back there, just to be sure that uh, the problem isn't uh, coming from the uh, motor. In the past I've uh, tried to reposition this uh, tapered pulley uh, on the uh, spindle, because I know there's a slight imbalance. Although I never really could find a uh, position that uh, helped with the vibration. Although with this uh, huge uh, chuck and disc brake, I uh, highly doubt it uh, matters. Maybe I'm just uh, asking too much from this uh, little lathe. I just uh, hooked up the other motor and it seems to be running just as good. Although it sounds a little bit different. But at least it's not uh, bouncing around on the uh, bad ways. That's good. These are new bearings. Uh, they will probably uh, get a little better when they have been running for a while. All right, the uh, 20 hertz uh, test again. Yeah, that's the same. Oh, and I did have to uh, switch the uh, terminal block because this one has one uh, terminal burned out. So at some point something happened. That's probably not a good thing, but at least the uh, motor is running. For now I will keep the uh, rusty pulley. I don't think the uh, vibration is coming from the pulley, but well, you never know. So I thought I'll uh, try increasing the uh, torque compensation uh, parameter uh, from 50 to 72 to see if I can get some more uh, power out of this motor. But uh, to my surprise, the uh, parameter defaulted back to zero. So I set it uh, to 75. That's 5 Hz. Now let's uh, see the motor run. And as you can hear, a lot of vibration. It feels like the motor is shaking a little. It uh, gets better with speed. RR1. No idea what happened there. RR1. I've got here the uh, manual and uh, RR1 is uh, either a short circuit, a current overload or power module protection. Let's reset the drive by uh, cycling the power. Takes a minute uh, for the capacitors to unload. Come on! Finally! That took forever. Switching it back on. Switching on the motor. Same error. That's not good. I set the uh, torque compensation to 50 
and try it again but uh, now it cuts out with error 6 and that's an overcurrent protection and that's kind of weird for a motor that isn't uh, pulling any load oh, there's a reset button a lot easier than uh, and there it goes again a reset a lot easier than uh, cycling the power uh, so I think I might have a motor problem it uh, did overheat at some point so yeah there is a good reason to suspect the motor is uh, the problem so I set the uh, torque compensation parameter to uh, 30 and the uh, motor hasn't given me any more errors so far it's been running for about five minutes it's running 20 hertz now and there's a lot more power so I think I will uh, try it uh, this way there isn't much difference between the uh, uh, vibrations I feel compared to uh, setting the uh, uh, torque compensation parameter to uh, zero so yeah Let's try it this way. Who would have thought that a uh, torque compensation setting could cause so much vibration in the motor? I sure didn't. But it is kind of typical for the uh, shit I run into. Anyway, I'm ready to uh, take another cut. And I'm running at 20 Hz. And that is uh, 165 RPM. Mm. I don't know about this but I'm already hearing some vibration coming from the motor I think that's the uh, fan cover that is rattling here we go I should probably dial in a cut A bit more. No. Here we go again. That sucks. I don't think this project is going anywhere. I just tried a bunch of different speed settings but uh, the vibration doesn't go away I don't know I feel defeated I think I'll uh, finish this cut and uh, then take a very light one see how that goes The motor is getting a little warm, but maybe 25 degrees, so it's not extreme. I just took a bunch of spring cuts, and this is what it looks now. It doesn't feel flat. I think there is just too much flex in this setup. I'm going to uh, rotate the insert one last time and then I skim this again if I don't see any improvement I will give up you know the frequency drive is on a little pole and uh, when I lay my hand on top of it 
I can really feel the vibration very good. So I've chosen a frequency where I feel the least uh, vibration and that is uh, about 159 RPM. from perfect. It looks like I can only take the lightest cut with this leaf. I'm dialing in a very light cut. And just to be sure I will rotate the insert again. I just uh, finished a very, very light uh, skim cut, only one graduation on the uh, dial. It feels reasonable, although you can still see some chatter marks. I guess I will have to accept that this lathe just isn't uh, good enough for a big disc like this. I think there just is too much flex, and that's apart from the uh, uh, motor vibration problem I seem to be having. So I guess I will have to look for a better lathe before I can think about skimming the uh, rotors on my uh, vintage car. I hate to admit uh, defeat but uh, this one I'm not going to win. With the uh, torque uh, compensation parameter uh, set back to zero I can still feel a little vibration coming through the headstock and that's only at uh, 70 rpm and that's about 8 hertz you can also see the belt uh, jumping up and down so I really think this uh, vibration must be coming from the motor I have no other ideas but if you have any thoughts on this uh, problem please uh, put it in the comments the uh, rattling noise you hear by the way is probably one of those uh, pinion gears uh, being a bit loose Anyway, I will be on the lookout for a better motor, preferably a 6-pole one, no more than uh, one and a half kilowatt, because that's the maximum this uh, belt can handle. I've already mentioned this in the uh, community tab, but most of you will probably not have seen that, so I will mention it again. Last weekend, Emma, from Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop, announced the 2019 tool making competition and uh, to increase my chance of losing I would like all of you to join the uh, competition if you can somehow not uh, participate but you do have a brilliant video idea then you should give it to me to increase my chance of uh, winning the competition but uh, honestly I would prefer it if you would hoist your lazy ass out of the seat you're sitting in and uh, make yourself a video this competition deserves a few more entries and uh, besides there's a great prize to be won. More information in the uh, video link that uh, should have popped up on your screen somewhere.